Did you know that Americans install over 12 billion square feet of shingles each year? Well, if you've ever had a leaky roof, you know the value of a good shingle. Well, today I'm at the GAF Shingle Factory in Dallas, Texas, where they make hundreds of millions of shingles each year. We're going to show you the shingle making process and show you some great tips as to what to look for when you buy shingles for your next roof. I'm with GAF Quality Assurance Manager Dave Barnes, and we're down on the floor at the beginning of the process of a shingle manufacturing facility. Dave, what am I looking at here? Well, here we're watching the fiberglass membrane actually enter the coating section. And this is the same fiberglass that we receive on the large 600 plus pound, 9,000 foot long roll. Here it's just now starting to reach the coater. Now, when I look at a shingle, what's on the inside is this fiberglass mat. We're actually making a sandwich here. Is that what we're doing? That's correct. This is the fiberglass as we receive it in a small sample. It's much better than the previous products we used to use as a membrane. And what did you used to use? We used to use paper and rags to produce a felt that we used as a membrane. Well, that would actually biodegrade and the shingle wouldn't last as long. Absolutely. So that's probably a lot stronger because fiberglass is a lot stronger than paper, too. It's certainly stronger, it's more flexible, and it gives the shingle a class A fire rating. I'm not going to burn up as quick. Absolutely. So now what happens is, is that this fiberglass mat goes through this process and gets coated with this asphalt. Right, which will give it a good weather, a waterproofing. Now here we're just coating the top side, is that right? That's correct. We're applying right on top of the sheet, which will eventually become the top of the shingle. Now it looks really, really hot. Yes, it's over 400 degrees, and at this point, the asphalt is, is filled with a mineral stabilizer, which will give it additional life. Well, this is running almost like paint, but when you feel this shingle, it's pretty stiff, so you know it's got to be hot. So the next part of the process, it coats the bottom side? Correct. We're going to coat the bottom side and completely impregnate the sheet itself with asphalt to get a good, thick waterproofing. So now what happens next is, is all these granules that we know to be the surface of the shingle is being applied here. Right, we refer to this area as the blender. And as you can see, the granules are put on as a blend and they're put on as a series of steps to give a good contrasting color of the finished shingle. So Dave, we start out with a 68 inch wide ribbon of asphalt shingle, then what happens? Well, at this point in our process, we're beginning the cutting process. So what we're doing, we're taking the large sheet and we're cutting it into the eight ribbons that will eventually become the shingle. Now it looks like you're cutting notches out of this, but you're really not, are you? Well, we're not wasting any parts of the shingle. If you look at some shingles that have been pulled back apart, you can see how they fit together. You can see there's no waste. In other words, then this is just split apart like this. That's correct. And then what happens? Then we take the piece that used to be on the side of the shingle, add some laminating asphalt, and adhere it to the teeth that we now have. Now this is quite a bit different from the standard shingles. This is actually what we call a, a dimensional or architectural shingle. Right, this is our Timberline series, and this shingle has a lot of advantages over the old strip shingles. For one, you notice the cutouts aren't there. These tabs are tightly adhered to the back of the shingle. You also notice that the shingle has multiple dimensions in the shingle and various color patterns, so it has much more contrast than the old original. So it makes it look good and it's probably more wind resistant, so it doesn't blow off as easy in a storm, right? Absolutely, it's just a better shingle. 